Tonight, the race for Indiana Secretary of State has not yet been called, but Republican Diego Morales is claiming victory over challenger Destiny Wells. WRTV's Meredith Hackler is following this race, race tonight, and she's also live at the JW Marriott. Meredith. <laughs> Yeah, hi, Mark and Nicole. At last check, Diego Morales, the Republican uh, candidate for Secretary of State, had about 30% more of the vote than his Democratic challenger, Destiny Wells. As you said, he is claiming victory. And in so many words, his challenger, Destiny Wells, did concede. She hasn't officially. She said she wants to wait until all of the numbers come out. But if Diego Morales is officially elected, he will become the first Hispanic person to hold the office of Secretary of State. Now, during his speech, many people in the crowd were yelling, go, Diego, go. He started his speech by thanking God and his family. He also said that the truth always prevails, referencing the scandals he's been a part of throughout this election cycle. He had alleged sexual assault allegations against him, questions about his campaign finances, and questions surrounding if he voted legally or not during the 2018 election. He says he's humbled to be chosen for the position. I'd like to thank all Hoosiers who voted for me. All across the 92 counties, I'm proud to say that I visited all 92 counties multiple times. And I'm humble with their confidence to put in me. Thank you, my fellow Hoosiers. Morales ran his campaign on election security, and one of the things that he would like to see change is surrounding absentee voting and absentee ballots. He would like to see people who do vote by mail have to add a copy of their official ID to that absentee ballot, which is something that could happen now if he does officially become the candidate that's selected. Live in Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Meredith.